everybody, it's Charlie. I hope you're all well. So today's video, as you can see by the title, is going to be in two parts. The first part is going to be a book review and then I'm going to go on to do my Friday reads. So the book I'm going to review today is The Book of You by Claire Kendall and this is an adult psychological thrillery kind of book and I, I'm going to admit the reason that I... Um, picked this up is because I'd heard that it was in the same vein as Into the Darkest Corner by Elizabeth Haynes which I read last year and you guys know I loved um and I, usually I don't really listen to that because I personally I don't think the book should be um should be compared to other books because I feel like every book is different and sometimes I feel like comparing um, them to other books can be unfair for example if a book is marketed as the next Harry Potter Harry Potter was so big there's no way that it's going to live completely up to that and um, because it doesn't live completely up to it, people are going to think it's rubbish when really it's not it's just not like that um, anyway I'm, I'm ranting now but I just don't like it when books compared to each other and I never usually pick up a book for that reason but with this one I did and I have to say that it does have that same feel about it. If you've read any of Elizabeth Haynes's books, it, it, especially Into the Darkest Corner, it really does have that feel about it. Um, and it's Claire Kendall's debut book, and for a debut book, it was amazing. Um, so basically, just a little summary of what it is about. Um, it follows a woman called Clarissa, who is being stalked, harassed in the most terrible ways by one of her work colleagues, Raffi. Um, and at the beginning of this book, you find out that she has contacted uh, a place that actually deals with harassment and things like that. And they have told her that in order for them to be able to do anything, she has to get a significant amount of proof. And so half of this book is told like from her journal because she has to keep a journal of all the things he does um, and the other half is then just the story um, and so you're seeing in her journal all the things he's doing to her and then the other part of it is the fact that she is on jury service um, in this case that reminds her very much of kind of what is happening to her and she meets a guy called Robert there who she starts to fall for and there's that kind of bit of the story as well which I really loved I loved all the court stuff you guys know I'm interested in that anyway um and as the book goes on what this guy Raffi is doing to her just becomes worse and worse and worse um for example I don't want to tell you too much because it would just give it all away but for example he will send her like funeral flowers or he will ring her like 40 times in one lunchtime um and just as I say throughout the book, it gets worse and worse and worse and worse till it culminates in something massive. And that's all I really want to say because I don't want to give too much else away. But as I said, this book was fantastic. It's one of those books where once you start reading it, you don't want to put it down. It's addictive. You want to just keep picking it up and reading one more chapter and then one more chapter and then one more chapter. And yeah, I just thought it was so fantastic. And I thought the guy, Raffi... Um, the villain, I'm going to call him, in this book, was really, really scary. And there were times when I was reading this book where I genuinely felt uncomfortable and I just felt so much for her, the stuff that she was going through. Um, and I think Claire Kendall really got into her mind, this character's mind, so well. And you could really see how it was affecting her not just emotionally but physically and everything and I, I really liked that I, she'd obviously done her um, her what am I trying to say she'd obviously done her research about what goes in in courtrooms and stuff like that because that was all really on point and it was just generally an amazing 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 books and um I had not really read a book about a stalker as such before and to think that people really go through this it just must be terrifying um like I do most of my reading at night as you guys know 
And I was finding myself, after I'd shut the book, just sitting in my bed for a while. And it almost made me feel like I was being watched. It had that just dark feeling all the way through it. Um, and, yeah, it was just so, so good. And I gave it five out of five stars on Goodreads. And I highly, highly recommend this. If you like things like um, Gillian Flynn, Flynn's books, if you like, as I say, Elizabeth Haynes, um, any kind of crimey psychological books that are going to keep you on the edge of your seat, then I definitely recommend this book. And I have to say, the ending was grip. Like, all of the book was gripping, but the ending was literally like, I can't put this down, I need to know what was going to happen, excuse me. Um, the only thing that I did not like about this book is the way it finished, like, there was so much left unresolved, I felt like, um, and, yeah, I just felt like there was so much that wasn't answered, really, that was the only thing I didn't like about this book though. Other than that, I thought it was amazing and I highly recommend it. So that's my book review of The Book of You by Claire Kendall. I'll just show you this cover up close because I think it's beautiful. And I absolutely adore the back. That's the spine and that is the back. I love the back so much. I think it's so... Um, just sums up the whole book really, this cover. Um, and the words and everything. I'll just read you actually what the back says. It says, you left me no choice, Clarissa. I just want to take you home, Clarissa. I know your darkest secrets, Clarissa. Oh, just so, 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 so good. Um, so yeah, that's that. Now, quickly onto my Friday reads, because this video is already seven minutes long. I do apologise for that. Um, the book I plan to read this weekend, as you guys know, it is the Easter weekend, so it's like a long weekend for most people, the bank holiday, um, and so I'm hoping that I will get quite a lot of reading done. However, I've only picked out one book to start with, um, to show you guys, because I'm not actually unsure what I want to read after this, but I know I want to read this one next. Um, and the book that I've chosen to read next is Jam by... Jake Wallace Simons. Um, I showed you this in my most recent book haul. I think it was my most recent book haul. Or was it? It could have been my last Friday reads, actually, that I showed you this in. And this is about... There's a traffic jam on the M25. And you basically hear all the different stories from all the different people in their cars or whatever stuck in this traffic jam how they got there what's going on in their lives um and it just sounds so interesting i'm really excited to read it um this is just an art copy um but it is out now it came out on the 3rd of april so yeah i'm really really excited to get into this one and then as i say i don't really know what i want to read next so i haven't picked anything else out um so that's it i do just want to mention that um hopefully within the next couple of days i'm going to put a video up it's just going to be some updates about some really exciting videos that i've got coming up and i'm going to do some booktuber shout outs and yeah so that's it um i hope you all have a fantastic weekend whatever you're doing let me know down below what you plan on reading and i will see you in my next video bye